Hi guys, let's have a look at Strobe and what it does. Basically it takes a whole bunch of your little clips of video like this and throws them all together in the browser. You can navigate backwards and forwards by clicking and dragging. And if you hold, you can see a longer clip. You can do stuff like use the video options to switch the sound on and off or to view longer clips all the time. There we go. And we find that, for example, different ages of people are used to different lengths of video clips in their media. So this is quite a useful slider to have. Here's all the different sets of content I've uploaded over the weeks on the right hand side. So now we can look at Thailand with two second long clips and we can see it's quite nice and sedate. You can see you can throw all sorts of footage at Stroby and it turns it into a nice stream that's quite watchable. I prefer the much shorter clips because things go a bit quicker and it's a lot more exciting. So here's my Thailand video, but with a half second clip each time. And again, we can fast forward or rewind. And if you want to know what's happening, we click and hold and it'll load the two second clip that we can look at. Stroby has got a nice set of uh, social features. So by dragging up, you can, for example, go in and edit the title that's shown over each B, or you can go in and you can share these guys on Facebook, Twitter, or, or even just grab the link to send it to whichever social site you want. Here's the download page. And so, for example, we can download all the Thailand video by clicking down here. And then it will sit around, think for a little bit. And uh, when it's done, I think this is quite a big um, video file. So this takes a while to pre-process before it really starts downloading. There it goes. And when it's done, the download file button here will uh, enable and we'll be able to grab at the file and um, do whatever we want with it. So there it is. It's downloading now. And now it's playing locally. Wow, that's a bit loud. Okay, that's it for the simple uh, introduction to Stroby. What can we do that's a bit more complicated? Well, we can use the plus button up here to upload a picture or a GIF. So we can upload this guy. We can watch as the um, video file gets sent up. While it's up there, it's gonna take a few seconds for the server to process. So um, while that's happening, let's just have a look around. There's also this follow button up here so we can see all the people I'm following. Not many at the moment, but I can go and look at the demo account. I can go and look at Eddie's account. Eddie hasn't uploaded anything. Or I can go and look at what the guys on the cat account have uploaded recently. From here, we can go and uh, jump to the cat screen and view all the cat videos if that's what we want to do. So this guy, this user called Cats, has got a whole bunch of stuff. There's a little icon here to follow or unfollow him. And you can kind of jump through all of his content and see all the cats that you want. OK, that upload that we've just pushed up um, is just about ready. When we click that little link at the top left, we get a preview of what the upload is going to look like. And if we click this big blue button, we see that our new clip is there and uh, waiting at the end of our stream. Stroby rips through the big video files and only adds one or two little Bs, little clips for each one, so that uh, you don't get bored. OK, that's about it for uh, the big bits of Stroby. What we can also have a quick look at is, um, let's jump out of full screen and have a look at uh, the Stroby desktop app. This is something that you can download from the browser. So once you're logged in, you can uh, get the Windows uh, uploader by downloading this guy here. And once it's installed, you get uh, this little app here. And uh, what this does is, you can see now that I'm actually the cat's person, is that you can select anything amount of video. Um, so for example, you can grab an entire folder of video if you want. And uh, so we can go and find a big one big folder and then when we click upload it's going to spend a few minutes ripping through that folder uploading all the little bees to the server and then when it's ready you can jump back to the website and uh, see what they look like anyway that's been my brief introduction to what stroby does uh, today um, we've got a whole bunch more exciting stuff that's scheduled for you uh, in the next few weeks hopefully including uh, an app for uh, android but otherwise, have fun, guys.